Happy June 6, 2020. My name is Christopher Saunders, and this is the Connecticut Sports Talent Show, where we talk all things talents in Connecticut. And on today's show, for a second time, because we had some technical difficulties, Plainville's wide receiver and defensive back, Dylan Hall. Dylan, it's a pleasure to be able to have you on for a second time. <laughs> Thank you for having me on. You know, Dylan, I think kind of to go back to what we talked about a couple weeks ago before the technical difficulties, you played soccer. I know how competitive you are, and you know, kind of going from soccer to football, I'm sure the competitiveness probably became even more once you played mm -hmm. football full time. Yeah, it definitely has. I, I feel like soccer kind of got me a little bit ready, but as soon as football came around, the competitiveness definitely ramped up. I mean, I'm way more competitive now. I want to win in everything, anything. So, I mean. <laughs> no, I know that you mentioned about kind of your, you know, you talk about the competitiveness. I know that in our prior interview, you're very competitive with the other wide receivers. Kind of go into that a little bit more because I'm sure the I'm sure there must be a lot of rivalries between you guys. Oh yeah, we go to the field a lot. Me, me, Tanner, Christian, and Xavier, Tyshawn, we all get at each other. I mean, me and Xavier go at it a lot because we're we're the, we're literally the same person. We go at each other. Christian and Xavier go at each other a lot too. It's me and Ty, Xavier and Ty, Christian and Ty. Even Tanner gets in the mix. He's a running back though, so we'll give him a break, but. He gets in the mix sometimes, but yeah, we're all super competitive, work each other, you know, just try to make it, each other better every time we go against each other. So, And it helps, especially during this kind of time because of the quarantine and hopefully, I think by June 20th, the restrictions are supposed to kind of ease up, but at mm -hmm. least for now, you know, with questions about, you know, how things are going to be run going forward, it's good that you guys already kind of build that chemistry even more because mm -hmm. unlike other players, they may not be putting in the same work that you guys are. Yeah, I mean, I think it's like you just said. I think it's good that we're putting in the work in the off season now. It's it's only going to pay off during the season. So, I mean, we're just going to keep working, and you know, hopefully, it pays off. Have you guys talked about as far as just kind of how the season may happen? You know, if there may be less games, or you guys may start late. I mean, I know the CIAC posted something on uh, their website about what the rules could potentially be, but have you guys talked about it at all? I mean, we, I mean, yeah, we've definitely talked about it, talked about like wanting to have a season and stuff, but mm -hmm. we don't really know, I mean, too much about what's going to happen. I guess it's all up in the air for now, but I think that we're going to play. Um, so, I mean, that's all I can hope for, I guess. <laughs> now, what happens, like, let's say, for example, because I know a lot of you guys, seniors and so forth, you're trying to get looked at. What if you only end up playing, and I'm just throwing it out there because that's what I've heard, like five mm -hmm. games, six games? Then I'm going to go all out for the five games that's i mean you get if you give us five games then we got to be great in five games then we will now what if there isn't any playoffs or any like you know a chance for a championship i mean that would suck because that's what you work for in the off season during the season that's what you that's what you want to do but mm -hmm. i mean if that doesn't happen then i guess you just got to go five and oh yeah i mean hey if you go five and oh you could do what uh, UCF did when they uh, – who I think who they beat. Was it Auburn that year, potentially? I don't mm -hmm. remember. Yeah, when they beat Auburn. And mm -hmm. they had their championship and said they were the college champions and not, you know. You could do something like that. We could do something like that. It would be good. <laughs> Just, yeah. Yeah. I agree. That would be that would be sweet. <laughs> Just help Plainville to kind of fork over some money and get you guys some rings. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> so – what have you know? What have you been up to the last couple of weeks? I know the weather's been better. I know you said you were working out with your friends, but have you been able to also, as far as the weightlifting side, have you been able to keep yourself at least in somewhat shape? Yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely keeping in shape with like, obviously going to the field a lot, running. That's keeping me in shape. Playing basketball too. I go to I go to the Norton a lot and play basketball with my friends and working out too. I mean, my neighbor has a gym, so you know, using that too just to, to stay in shape and get ready for the season. During this quarantine, is there anything in particular that maybe you didn't appreciate prior to this and now with you kind of going through like everyone else is, there's certain things that you become, you know, when you fully get it back, like for example, when the gym opens up, I'm going to make sure that every day is like, I thank you for being open. Is there anything mm -hmm. for you in particular that you feel that way? I mean, yeah, no, I agree with that too. The, the gym, definitely going to go to the gym, kill it there. But I mean, honestly, school, I definitely took school for granted. I mean, it, because we would be playing spring ball right now if we, if I was back in school. So mm -hmm. definitely took school for granted. I mean, the online learning was tough, but I mean, powered through it and we're good now. But 
Well, still, I mean, online learning is, I mean, again, my girlfriend's a teacher, so she's told me about how, you know, teaching is so much harder when you're at home rather mm-hmm. than in front of the students because you're kind of depending on them to put in the work to look at the, you know, look at the work, do the work, et cetera. So it becomes yeah. that kind of, you know, difficulty, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Online, yeah. Online school is tough. I mean, you just got to do the work and get it done. So one more question for you and Dylan. It's really great to have you on. What is the one thing or what are a couple of things that you want to work on for your senior season? Um, definitely my route running, getting my route running more crisp, my jukes too. Mm-hmm. Um, and always hand-eye coordination stuff, um, DB stuff also, my speed turns, everything like that. Just pretty much everything getting ready for the season and my positions and stuff like that. Well, Dylan, it's great to be able to have you on for a second time. No technical difficulties. So, but hey. When the season starts and you light it up and you guys go 5-0, and 6-0, and whatever it is. And I'm not putting any pressure on you guys, but I think you guys have a really good chance to do something in Class S. You're welcome mm-hmm. to come back on anytime. Seriously. All right. Thank you. No problem. That'll wrap things up in the Connecticut Sports Talent Show. So, as always, stay safe and enjoy the rest of your day, everybody.